most people will not know what a growth factor is. Can you explain a bit more about that? Growth factors are signaling molecules in our body. So any function that needs to happen, you require some sort of communication. So for us to gather today here this morning and we talk, we have to have some sort of communication to bring us in the same time and same location. So in our body, the same thing happened. All these cells have to work in sync, in concert to produce a function. And this sync and this, this, this communication is carried by growth factors. So we realize growth factors is very important for any function in our body and especially for skin. When we talk about growth factors, most people think about stem cells. Is this the same? Absolutely not. And this is one of the biggest uh, mistakes a lot of people do. Not just regular people, but even professionals. Growth factors are exist, exist in our body from every type of cells. So we don't need uh, stem cells. The only link between stem cells and growth factors are stem cells to exist. They require growth factor to stimulate them and they require growth factor to make them transition to the next stage. So this is where the link between growth factor and stem cells exist. And this is where the, everybody, the, the misconception, if you like. Is it something we produce naturally within the body? Absolutely. And so when you're talking about growth factors, is it from a human cell? Yes, so usually growth factors to function on a, growth, on a human, they need to come from humans. They cannot, you cannot have growth factor from plants to operate on humans or from animals or any type of species. Because growth factors are very specific. They are signaling molecules, so they are very specific. Just like if you dial somebody's number, you cannot just dial any number. You have to dial the specific number with the right area code to communicate with them. And the same thing with, with growth factors. So you cannot use growth factor from snails or cucumber or onions or broccoli or apples. You need to have growth factor from humans to operate on humans. So the growth factors you're using, dare I ask where they come from? Yes, of course. I mean, they come from humans. And if you want to be more specific, they come from fibroblast cells. So they come from fibroblasts? Yes. Okay. Why so, fibroblasts? Yes. Well, fibroblasts are the most abundant cells in our body that produce growth factors. They are, the, they are the, I feel like, the major manufacturer of growth factors. They're easy to grow in the lab. They're easy to manipulate. You can handpick what you want. And fibroblasts also came to the service in the 80s, even in the 70s, because their involvement with wound healing. So there's a lot of data and, and publication characterizing fibroblasts and their link to wound care. And now we know why, because of their production growth factors. So that's why.